Welcome back to the second episode of Cedar News. We're your host, Sadi. And Lily. And we're excited to bring you this week's news. This week, there are plenty of opportunities to come support the Cedar athletes playing at home. Here are some games that are going on this week. The girls field hockey starting at 4 p.m. versus Octora. JV football versus Muhlenberg at 4 p.m. Girls volleyball versus Cedar Crest starting at 6 p.m. On Tuesday, we have girls varsity soccer starting at 4 p.m. playing against McCaskey. Girls volleyball is starting at 6 p.m. versus Elizabethtown. On Wednesday, girls varsity tennis versus Cedar Crest at 4 p.m. On Thursday, we have boys soccer starting at 4 p.m. versus Octora. And on Friday, girls varsity tennis starting at 4 p.m. versus Donegal. Girls field hockey versus Garden Spot starting at 4 p.m. Come support your Cedar athletes and see you guys next week. Today marks the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month. Let's check in with our history club to learn more. Good morning. Today, September 15th, marks the start of Hispanic Heritage Month, which ends October 15th. National Hispanic Heritage Month honors the achievements, culture, and his history of Hispanic and Latin American people. Hispanic Heritage Week began in 1968 and was extended to a month in 1988. This celebration starts mid-September rather than the start because it coincides with the National Independence Day in several Latin American countries. But what is the correct term, Hispanic or Latino? Though they're interchangeable, there is a difference. Hispanics trace their ancestry back to one of the 21 Spanish-speaking countries in the world. While a majority of these are in Latin America, not all of them are. For example, Spain. Latino can be understood as a geographical reference to countries in Latin America, such as Dominican Republic, Mexico, or Cuba. While most of these countries speak Spanish, not all of them do, such as Brazil, which speaks Portuguese. Today, over 63 million Hispanics or Latinos live in the United States, making it the nation's largest ethnic group that makes up over 19% of the population. That number is even larger in our community of Lebanon, PA, which has over 44% Hispanic slash Latino citizens. So what can we do to celebrate the month? Some ways you can celebrate the month are explore your culture and history, make authentic Hispanic food, listen to cultural music, and learn more about your culture and, and the traditions. We hope you have a great day at Lebanon High. Espero que tengamos un lindo día aquí en la escuela. Are you looking for a cool new activity to keep you busy after school? Here are four clubs that are currently looking for some new members to join. First, Mr. Malafonte is looking for some students interested in joining a swimming club. Stop by room L122 for more information and if you're interested in joining our superstar swimmers here at LHS. If you have any interest in joining our history club and bringing awareness of culture and diversity, the history club is something for you. Contact Mr. Coons or Mr. Carroll for more information if this sounds up your alley. TSA is a club that allows students to compete in technological competitions around the area. See Ms. Long for more information in room G253. Finally, if you like trivia, then you might also be interested in joining our LHS club quiz bowl team where you get to have fun as you compete and answer fun, challenging questions. For more information, don't forget to contact uh, Ms. Dr. Raven or Mrs. Tayola in room W265 or on Schoology. Speaking of trivia, let's pass it on to Peyton. We're offering an opportunity for your seminar to win a prize for our mass comms team. Be the first in your period to have a teacher send an email to Ms. Rodriguez containing the correct answer to your question. If you are in Seminar 3A, here is your question. Name three teachers within the high school who have served in the military. 3B. If you didn't already know this, this isn't the first time our new assistant principal, Mr. Heisler, has walked the halls of Lebanon High School. Which subject did he teach before when he worked here? 3C. Name three members of the hardworking lunch crew that feed us each day. 3D. Where did our new principal, Dr. Nordahl, attend high school? Talk with your seminar and have your teacher send Ms. Hub you get some email as soon as you finish. Don't forget to wish our football team and our girls soccer team luck as they both take on Mullenberg at home tonight. And a reminder, you can get your trivia answers to your seminar teacher as quickly as you can. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in to this week's episode of Cedar News. <laughs>